Hey, what's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Explores the sky. I, uh, I decided to keep recording anyway. In the last episode, I talked a little bit about Daniel's revenge against Mr. Paul and Team Skull. But we are. This is not Tales of Zinnia. This is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and we are following the canon path because I'm not very good at hacking. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. We, uh, crossed the craggy coast, and now we are at Mount Horn. This is the only thing separating us from the base camp. So, let's go down a completely different side path. This is the rock path. <coughs> it's a slightly different tile set going on here. It's nice. It's the same, uh... The same music as the other side path, though. Pearl Orb allows you to throw a Pokemon at another Pokemon. It's kind of dumb. Not sure what the point of it is. But it's recycle fodder if we don't end up using it to clear up some space. Hello, not to a psychic flying type. Lucky Chan. Uh, I want to say that protects against status effects. That or critical hits. Don't know for sure. Spurn orb always nice to have. Uh, at least down the line it will be. This place again. Seems to me we're back where we came from. So, okay. Got a couple more items to stash. Let's go, Mount Horn. This is another big favorite tune of mine. Just so adventurous. All right, Shroomish. I believe a pure grass type. Beautifly is bug and flying, I think. And we've already seen not to. My box. Yay. Actually, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Final Fantasy V. <laughs> Anybody who's uh, played that game probably remembers the uh, Mountain Leaf song I'm talking about. Final Fantasy V was a good game. Just, just really fun messing around with the job system and just completely breaking everything. <laughs> it's kind of like Disgaea before Disgaea was Disgaea. Final Fantasy was not quite so much about uh, getting extreme levels and equipment. Cascoon is a bug type. It's one of Wormple's two evolutions. Uh, Wormple's evolve at random. Parasect is the evolved form of Paris, and Ariados is the evolved form of Spinarak. Not much else to say about them. See, uh, Neptune is playing a uh, hyper something Neptunia. It's the uh, the one Nippon Ichi game. I actually was that Nippon Ichi. I don't know. 
I just know Nisa was a character in Disgaea, and she is pretty great. I played a little bit of Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth. It was kind of boring. <laughs> Transfer War turns one Pokemon into another. Have I mentioned that? I've probably mentioned that. Another uh, Cascoon, yeah. These guys can't move at all for some reason. It's kind of silly. Well, I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense, but it uh, kind of completely obliterates their threat as enemies. As well as their usefulness to you as allies. Oh well. Lots of bug types up here for some reason. Here. Let's do it, no excuses. <laughs> we gonna see a rollout? Nope. Oh, uh, he did learn headbutt though. That's cool. He gained two levels since, uh, that's, that's definitely something. <laughs> I guess we'll have to uh, give Buck a bit of grinding when he gets back, because we know he's going to lose those levels when the expedition's over. It's just how this game works. How dare you. Yaw! Ember! Escape or... Aerodactyl is a pain. They know agility. At least they did in Blue, Res Re Blue Rescue Team. We are going to disregard the Aerodactyl as much as I want that escape board. Speaking of Aerodactyls, there's one right now. And the... Uh, the, the... Oh yeah, their pressure ability uh, doubles your PP usage. It's kind of a pain. Dustox is... Oh, that's Venomoth, not Dustox. Venomoth is probably a bug poison type or a bug flying type or something. I don't know. Probably be uh, posting all of these uh, type corrections as I run through editing the videos. So that's just how I roll. Aerodactyl is rocket flying. So, uh, if Abram would just use his Thundershock, uh, we might, might be onto something here. But he did not. A Twist Band. Maintain Attack and Special Attack. That's pretty nice, I guess. Secret Stairs! Alright! I didn't think we'd be finding this. That's cool. Good afternoon and congrats. You found a secret bazaar. I'm Kirlia, the bazaar guide. I am going to call you Lyra. It's Mind Junior Spa. Yeah, sure, we can afford it. Healing Beam! Very nice. Alright, let's see here. Let's get a Swallow. Grab bags, huh? What's it got in it? Thornberry. That was kind of lame. It's Licky Licky! He can clean up all of our stickied up items. That's what cleanse orbs are for. It's 
Shedinja. And there's a secret way out of the dungeon. We don't need to worry about that. Let's just move on. Ooh, a TM. Rock slide. Can anybody use this? I can! Cool. Alright, let's forget Growl and learn Rock Slide. Uh, how appropriate. <laughs> Considering what we did to Team Skull. It can make, uh... Yeah, it can make enemies flinch. Bonsly is a pure rock type. So, uh, none of our attacks will be especially effective. Pineco is, I think, a pure bug type. They explode. Fortunately, it didn't do very much damage to us. At least that time. Get over here. I want to show off Rock Slide. Super effective, yes. Rock is super effective against Bug. So, if we use Rock Slide against one of these guys... Wham! Wait, what was that? Uh, was that a... Was that like a signal beam sort of blink? The ability Signal Blink, or Signal Beam, uh, causes another Pokemon to spawn in uh, every time you take damage. It's a thing, I guess. I don't know. Seems to me like... Yeah, we're better off using our special attacks against these bug types. As cool as Rock Slide is. Fourteen floors of Mount Horn. Is this the last? Who knows? <coughs> Whoops, why did I do that? I guess it doesn't really. Low kick. Wow. Low kick is a fighting type move that does more damage the heavier your opponent is. Other than that, it's not really all that special. We made it through! Chapter 8 Groudon's Heart. <sighs> We did it! We got over Mount Horn! We finally made it! Yes siree! We have arrived at the base camp! Gosh! Howdy folks! Sorry to keep you all waiting! You all are late! Everyone else arrived a long time ago! Well excuse us if we wanted to play it safe. Go set your equipment down. Make haste. Not everyone's assembled. Let's get on with our strategy briefing. Yes siree! What's wrong, Daniel? What's this weird sensation? I don't know why I'm feeling this way. I... Wait a second, I know this place. Have I been here before? Maybe. Does it have something to do with me before I lost my memory? Go on, come on, we haven't got all day. Go, go, Gadget. Attention, please. It appears everyone has arrived at our base camp safe and sound. We shall now proceed to the exploration of Fogbound Lake. As you can see, we're in a densely forested area. Somewhere within this forest, Fogbound Lake is supposedly concealed, but so far that has been nothing more than a rumor. Exploration teams of all stripes have mounted many a challenge, but so far the lake has eluded discovery. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey! So is it really there or what? This Fogbound Lake. Silly Albert. You'll wreck the dream if you say something like that. Yeah, don't spoil things now! Hey, hey. Um, may I? Um, while we were traveling, I heard about a certain legend. A legend, you say? Yes, a legend about Fogbound Lake. According to the legend, Fogbound Lake is a home to a Pokemon named Yuxi. This Pokemon is said to be exceedingly rare. Yuxi is said to lock eyes with others and wipe their memories clean. What? Wipe their memories clean? 
That is why, even if travelers were to happen upon Fallbound Lake, Yuxi would wipe their memories clean, thereby muzzling the travelers from revealing the existence of the lake. And that is how Yuxi protects Fallbound Lake. I was told such a legend remains. Golly, that's a pretty hair-raising tale. What'll I do if my memory is wiped clean? I don't think you have much to worry about. After all, you're so forgetful anyway, you make me go eek. Ahem. <clears throat> You should realize that places of this sort can be expected to have a folk tale or a legend attached to them. Our guild has overcome difficult challenges and obstacles when conducting successful explorations. Absolutely, eek! That's how our guild has earned a reputation for being first class. <laughs> don't worry, every don't worry. Everything will be all right. Let's believe in success for this adventure too, and let's try. Let's try. Let's move on with our plan. The Guildmaster and I shall remain here to gather intelligence from our teams in the field. You are to go off in teams to explore this forest. Be aware that this forest is enshrouded in a deep fog. Once you enter it, visibility is severely restricted. We think that Fogbound Lake has defied discovery because of this fog. Perhaps there is a way of lifting the fog. Therefore, your search is twofold. One, search for Fogbound Lake. And two, find a way to lift the fog. If you accomplish either thing, return to the base camp and tell me or the Guildmaster. That is all. All right, everyone, let's give it our best as always. Hooray! Let's all try our best. It'd be nice if we made a discovery or two. We'll find the lake, I'm sure of it. I'll be the first to find it! Dad, do you think maybe Fogbound Lake could be underground? I was thinking we should try looking underground. Ah, my son, my pride and joy. You make me proud. Let's look underground. Okay, everyone, we're off. Hey, 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 we can't afford to dawdle either. Yup, yup, we need to hurry. Now, oh, there goes Buck. <laughs> he forgot which team he was on. Well then, we should go to hmm, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Daniel. We need to hurry. I know this place. According to the legend, the Pokemon Yuxi can wipe clean the memories of others. Are these two things really just a coincidence? Hmm. Maybe I came here before I lost my memory. Then maybe I met Yuxi and he wiped my memory clean. Could that have happened? Hey, Daniel! Why do you keep drifting off like that? It's not like you. Hurry, let's get ready and go into the forest. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna stash some more items. Including this used TM. Except uh, I can't stash it, so I guess we're just gonna have to discard it. This luminous orb might come in handy. That, uh. That one instrument reminds me of Earthbound. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We're going to the forest path first, because of course we are. to unlocking my memory are here. Fogbound Lake. I may find some answers if Fogbound Lake can be found. Huh? What's this? It looks like some kind of stone, I guess. It's red and pretty. It's kind of like a gem, actually. Wow, this stone feels warm. It's like heat is coming from inside the stone. It's weird. It doesn't seem to be lava. What could it be? It might be rare. I'll keep it. Alright, let's roll, Daniel. It's probably just a firestone. It's the forest path. Linoon is a normal type. Not much to say about him. I think. I forget which Pokemon are dangerous and which aren't. It's been a while since I've been around here. <coughs> this is a very nice tile set, and I kind of like the fog effect, too. It's not purling noise or anything, but it's still pretty cool. Dunsparce, I think, is also a normal type. They're 
claim to fame in Pokemon Gold and Silver was just being exceedingly rare. Here, they're just kind of here, I guess. Cricketot is a fire, er, not a fire, a bug type move. They know an attack called Bide, which uh, stores up damage over two or three turns and then unleashes it all at, all at once back on the enemy. They're very dangerous if you can't kill them quickly, so uh, if you don't think you can take them out in two or three turns, stall with a status move. Try to get out of the way because your partner is going to attack them too. Swanub is an ice ground type. Yeah. Wow, you you died to a quick attack? That's something. <laughs> Houndour is a dark fire type. They are completely immune to fire attacks. Don't try using them. Yay, level up. And here we are back in the base camp. Welcome back! But this is the base camp. Precisely, you're back at the base camp. So how'd it go? Have you anything to report? Uh, no, nothing. Oh, nothing? What is this? You have my hopes up! Get going! Let's get going, Daniel. In a parallel timeline. I have burned down your room! Let's go to Foggy Forest. We're uh, kind of running up on time here, but eh, I want to explore a bit more. The weather has become fog. Electric type moves are weakened. It's Pachirisu! Pachirisu is an electric type. Wham. So uh, yeah, it's kind of bad news for Abram, but we will be just fine. Lots of spurn orbs for some reason. I mean, not that I'm complaining. It's Cheruby, a pure grass type. Is that... It's Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot is a pure flying type, I think. That or flying and psychic. They do know a lot of psychic type moves, I know that. picked up the used TM. Yeah, yeah, you think you're all that with your quick attack. Well, I show you my ranged attack. Ha ha ha. The power of darts. Ooh, leveled up. Cool. Here's Smeargle. Smeargle is a normal type that can uh, copy any move it sees with its sketch attack. See? Now the Smeargle knows Scratch. 
That's uh, not very important for our purposes. Alright, let's see here. I was expecting to be this this dungeon to be a lot darker than it actually is, but uh, let's use this luminous orb and figure out what it does. It reveals the entire map of the floor, and if you are in a dark room, it brightens the room up. It's pretty neat. as well use some of these items. The warp orb is not as useful as a spurn orb. I am going to hold on to this spurn orb. <coughs> Ooh, a red gummy. I want. Another luminous orb. All hit orb. I believe that raises critical hit rates. Yeah. Pretty neat, but again, useless against bosses because orbs don't work in boss rooms. It's kind of dumb, really. There's Skip Loom over there. It's the uh, evolved form of Hoppip. Again, grass flying type. Pretty weak. A sinister box. I guess I'll eat an apple. No closer to finding that guy with the red gun. Oh, is it you? Is it you? Zigzagoon is the normal type. Linoon is the evolved form of Zigzagoon. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna pick this up and uh, stash it at the end of our journey. Baneary, a normal type, I think. Could be a normal fight, I don't know. Tutor me, put the type up on the screen. Another Pokemon with the runaway ability. one of our apples, I guess. Air is knocked out. The evolved form of Hoo Hoo. <laughs> Daniel isn't a ghost type Pokemon. But if you have raised evasion due to, for example, minimize or double team, foresight will bring it back down to normal. If you are a ghost type, uh, getting hit with foresight means that normal and fighting type moves will affect you. Static. 
special band. Yeah, I might as well eat this Max Elixir. Or uh, let's check out Abrams, please. Hmm. I guess I'll take this one. I'll take Tyson, <laughs> as uh, NCS would say. Slumber Orb uh, puts everybody in the room to sleep. All enemies, rather. Not quite as handy as a Spurn Orb. Pachi! Yeah, baby. Stantler is a normal type that knows some psychic type moves. Pinsir is a pure bug type. They've got some pretty high power attacks, I believe. Cherry Berry, I don't really care about. But... Okay, 11 floors of Foggy Forest. And we are out. Water's coming down and waterfalls all over the place. But where are we? Is this the deepest part of the forest? Mm, the forest is so thick, I can't tell which way we can go. Hey, hey, hey! Look, it's Albert! Hey, hey! You two find any clues? No, nothing yet. How about you, Albert? I got nothing here either. Don't let it get you down. But there is something here that's kind of interesting. Interesting? There, have a look for yourself. It's a Groudon statue. What is this? I don't know. It seems to be a statue of a Pokemon. But what kind of Pokemon is that? I've never seen a Pokemon like that before. Oh, is something inscribed here? in footprint runes. Let me read it. Um, Reignite the life that burned within Groudon. Then the sky shall blaze with the sun's heat. The path to treasure shall be revealed. The path to treasure? That's incredible! Oh, Daniel! Treasure? Could this mean the treasure of Fogman Lake? The path to treasure shall be revealed. So this means the secret to finding Fogbound Lake could be hidden right here! Hey, 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 you, you think so? Hey, hey, now that's a mystery we gotta solve. <clears throat> this part of the footprint room is the part about life that burned within Groudon. What's this about? So, Groudon, is it this statue? Hey, hey, so what? We're supposed to, what, ignite the life that was in the statue? 
Yeah, the ignite the life? How do we do that? Mm. Huh? Wait a second. I know. Touch a statue, Daniel. Maybe you'll see something. I was thinking that too. If it means finding the path to Fogbound Lake. If it means finding the key to my own past. The answers are held by this statue. You're gonna do it! Feeling anything, Daniel? It's coming. That dizzy feeling. That's it! It's here! It's here! What was that? Whose voice was that? What? Again? Too soon after the first one. I see. Place the drought stone in Groudon's heart. That lifts the fog. Very well done. Good job, partner. What did I just pick up on? That was different from what I've gotten before. This time I only heard a voice. I don't know whose voice that was. That voice. Whose voice was that? I didn't even get a sense of what the voice really sounds like. It still bugs me for some reason. Are you alright, Daniel? Did you see something? What did that voice say? Remember, that voice said... It said, place the drought stone in Groudon's heart, and said, that lifts the fog. Wait a second, drought stone? Is that maybe... The thing that everybody missed but us. Oh, here! There's a small hollow in the statue's chest. Did you figure something out, Daniel? What? That stone I found at the base camp? Do you want me to fit that stone into the statue's chest? Sure, I'll try it. So I should put it into this indentation? That did something! What? Watch out! Step back, everyone! What? It's sunny! Hey, hey, the fog is gone! The sky cleared! Sunlight's harsh. Hey, look! Both of you, up! Look up! Hey, hey, what is that? That's what the fog was hiding. It's no wonder Fogbound Lake had made a discovery for all this time. We were just wandering around in circles, too. Hey, hey, so you're saying. You're saying Fogbound Lake is up there? Yes, that's what I think. Fogbound Lake has to be up there. Dude. Would we like to save our adventure? Yes, I think that is a very good idea. See you guys next time.